Hi guys, today I'm just going to show you how I do a round pet trim head on a lot of different breeds. This is a Shih Tzu cross here. So what I do, I start by clipping the top of the head and then also using that same blade to just skim over the very top of the ears and also going down the cheeks. I don't press all the way down on the cheeks, it's just to get some of that bulk off and that just makes my job a lot easier. After that I just quickly clear out the eyes, I just create like an inverted V just below the eyes and also between the eyes. And once I've done that I just brush all the excess hair from the top of the head forward and then I clear anything that falls past the eyes. And once I've done that, having hooded eyes is one of my pet hates so I clear quite a lot of the hair on the sides past the eyes. I found easiest is I clear the section right between the jaw and the neck just to give the face a bit of definition before I do anything else so that kind of gives me a guide of where I want the rest of the muzzle to be cut and obviously this doesn't have to be perfect at this stage is just to give that rough outline and then I go through the shape with my blenders You always want to have your comb handy to keep brushing the hair forward so you know that it's all straight and you know that you're getting a good crisp line while you're scissoring. And just like with the eyes, to get the muzzle nice and round I comb all the hair forward and then anything that falls past the nose I use my blenders to just tidy up. I don't often use my straights or my curves right around the nose, it's just safer to use thinners or blenders around the area just in case the dog decides to lick. And once I have the desired shape, I then just start blending away. What you can see here is that I basically hold the scissors upright, so then I go from the jawline to the cheek, and what that does is just creates a really nice blended line. And you'll see that I go back and forth quite a lot, I keep combing and checking and blending over and over and over. And the reason I do that is as you go on the hair will have a bit of time to settle and you'll just notice more and more bits that just need to be blended out. Okay and once I'm pretty much happy with this side of the face I'll just quickly speed up the rest of the footage to do the other side and you'll see that I do still keep coming back to this side just to sort of clean up little bits as I go. What I find really important is that even if you're not the best groomer in the world yet as long as the dog's face is balanced you'll be absolutely fine. A dog owner generally will not notice if a bit of hair is just slightly out of place as long as the face is even and the rest of the dog is even and the dog looks different than what it did when it came in most owners will be absolutely chuffed to bits so if you feel like you're not quite as confident as you might want to be don't worry about it it comes with time I was completely useless when I first started grooming so you know you'll get there eventually <laughs> Once I'm done with the general shape of the face, I always leave the chin last because you want to have something to hold on to while you're trimming the rest of the face. And what I do, I either comb it or just push it with my scissors, I just bring all the hair on the chin forward and then again I hold my scissors pretty much straight up and then again just any hair that falls past the chin I will then just blend it in and that does help with making the face a lot rounder. And 
and once I'm done I just quickly fluff up the face with my fingers just to see if there's any bits just sticking out or out of place and then just quickly get rid of those but other than that that is pretty much how I do like a rounded face like I said I do this on quite a lot of different dogs Gizzy here is a Shih Tzu cross cocker I do this on a lot of cockapoos any anything like that it's quite a nice versatile style to do trimming her face I think it took me about 12 minutes and then just about a minute to just tidy up her ears and then that's it thanks for watching guys bye